Compositing reflections into our final image seems very intuitive and easy. We simply have to combine everything together and then add reflections on top of it. I have set the material of my monkey to be reflective, I have enabled mirror and set reflectivity to 1. This means that it's fully reflective. Here we are looking at the combined pass. It is set such that the reflection pass is included into the combined pass, but I have also created another render layer where the reflection pass is excluded from the combined pass, and it looks like this. So it's exactly as if the monkey was not reflective at all. I have the access to the reflection pass alone, so I can easily add it to the combined pass without reflections. Let's do it. Color mix, add blending mode, and let's add the reflections, and I got something like this. And it's exactly the same as the combined pass, where the reflection pass is included into the combined pass. Reflectivity of this material is set to 1. Now I can very easily lower it here in compositing. When I set the factor to 0 0.5, I got this result, and it's exactly the same as if I changed the reflectivity factor here in the material. Here I have also rendered another version of this image where I have set the reflectivity to 0 0.5 here in the material, and this is how it looks like, and as you can see it's the same as this composite. It is not exactly the same, but the differences can be ignored. There are two reasons why it's different. First is anti-aliasing. I have explained this issue in the episode about the shadow pass. And the second is that this material reflects everything that surrounds this object, but also reflects itself. Here in the ear we see the reflections of the surrounding objects, but as well I should see some reflections of this area. And when the reflectivity is set not to 100%, this area is different than when the reflectivity factor is set to 1. So here, something else reflects in the ear. In one of the previous episodes, I said that it's best to set the reflectivity to 1 always. But there are cases when you wouldn't want to do that because of this behavior. We would have even more complicated situation if we wanted, let's say, our floor to be reflective. Then, when we set the reflectivity of the floor to 100%, as well as the monkey, the interaction between those two objects may give us not the result that we want. There are no universal solutions to this issue. Every scene is different, so we simply have to take all those things into account and make the decisions based on what we want to achieve. But in most of the setups that are not that complicated, we would rather have the reflectivity set to 1. Here we are looking at the composite, so we have added the reflection pass with a factor of 0 0.5, and if we didn't have the access to the combined pass rendered with a reflectivity of 0 0.5 that looks like this, we wouldn't know that it's different, so we can get away with this. In this setup we have very high level of control, it doesn't come for free, but the price is acceptable. Let's now try to combine the reflection pass of the image rendered with a reflectivity of 0 0.5, so that's the combined pass, and that's the render layer where reflections are excluded from the combined pass. Let's add the reflection pass to this one and see what happens. Color mix, add blending mode, and let's take this and add reflection pass to it. That's how it looks like, and this is the combined pass. As you can see, they are exactly the same, but I have used the factor of 1. Reflectivity factor of this material itself is set to 0.5, so when I add it with a factor of 1, I get the reflectivity of 0.5. I have some level of control over it. I can lower this factor, let's set it to 0.5. This way it behaves as if the reflectivity was set to half of this value, so 0.25. But it's impossible to make it higher than 0.5. Let's set it to 1, and let's now try to set it to 2, for example. So I am trying to increase the factor of reflectivity, but I wouldn't call this result satisfactory. That's why it's better to set the reflectivity to 1 and then control the factor here in the mix node. Okay, so we have come this far. Let's agree that we made the decision to set the reflectivity of our materials to 1 and control it here in the mix node. But what we are doing here is recreating the behavior of reflections that Blender's internal render engine gives us. I said that we need to add reflections. And this is rather logical. What are reflections? This is the light that bounces off other objects, then hits our reflective surface and gets to our eyes without being altered at all by the material. That's the idea of reflections. 
we should treat reflections as the light. And as we know, one light source adds to the other light source. So what we are seeing here should be the direct light, environment light, ambient light, and the reflections all added together. But does Blender internal render engine do it with the reflections? Unfortunately not, even though it may seem so because we are adding reflection pass to our combined pass. Here we see the material that's reflectivity is set to 100%, so it's as if it's made of mirror. If we have the mirror, we in fact see nothing more than the reflections. We may say that the mirror doesn't have any color, it doesn't receive the shadows, it doesn't receive any light, the only thing we see are the reflections. So if we agree that this should be the understanding of reflections, we would come to the conclusion that the reflection pass of this material should look exactly the same as this one, as the combined pass. Because by setting the reflectivity to one, we have made mirror out of this object. But let's take a look at the reflection pass alone. And let's try to figure out where those colors come from. Is there anything that has this color in our scene? Or this one? Reflection pass should show what reflects in our object. And here we see something completely different. Let's take a look at the values of the colors here. As you can see, those values are negative. Reflections should represent the light. Is there the phenomenon of negative values of the light? I wouldn't say so. So I would say that the reflection pass of Blender's internal render engine doesn't represent reflections at all. So if reflection pass is not the image of reflections, then what is it? In order to understand this, we first have to analyze how the reflections behave in Blender's internal render engine. If we set the reflectivity to 100% here in the material, we are in fact creating the mirror. The color of the material doesn't matter. The ambient light, environment light don't matter as well. Setting the reflectivity to 1 will make the mirror from everything. So what we are looking at right now is the combined pass of our monkey with the reflectivity set to 1, so it's as if it's made of the mirror and therefore the only thing that we see are the reflections. We are in fact looking at the image of the reflections. This is in fact how the reflection pass should look like. And this is our monkey without reflections at all. So we have two elements, monkey without reflections and the image of the reflections. Blender internal render engine don't add those images together. It makes a simple mix. When we add the mix node and mix the image without reflections with the image of reflections and set the factor to 1, we get this. So we see the reflections only. When we set this factor to 0.5, we get exactly the same behavior as if we set the reflectivity factor here to 0.5. The reflections are not added, they are simply mixed. I say that this is wrong. But you don't have to agree with this. Especially that this behavior is not Blender Internals render engine specific. There are other render engines that treat reflections the same way. Other render engines take the image without reflections and then add reflections to it. So let's change the blending mode of this mix node to add and see what happens. And that's the behavior. If we set the factor here to 1, you see that it didn't convert this material to mirror. It added the image of reflections to the image without reflections. So if we wanted to make the mirror of our material and had this behavior, we would have to not only change the reflectivity factor to 1, but also change the material's colors. The only way of creating the mirror would be to set the diffuse color to black. I could do it here and re-render this to show you this behavior, but I can also mimic this here in compositing. Let me simply mix this image with the black color here and I will get exactly the same result. So this is how the image would look like if I set the material color to black with no specular emit values and so on. This is the image of reflections and when I add this to the black color, I have exactly the same as this one, so this is how I would create the mirror. If the reflection pass looked like this, instead of this strange thing, I would be very easily able to make the decision of the behavior here in compositing. I could recreate this behavior 
then I would simply change the blending mode here to mix and set the factor to whatever I want. Or if I wanted to, I would be able to add image of reflections to my image by setting the blending mode here to add. But because I don't have the access to the clean reflection pass to the image of reflections, I have to use some tricks to make it possible. One way would be to create the separate material that has the black color, set the reflectivity to one, render the separate render layer with this material, then the reflection pass of it would look exactly like this, and I would take this and add it to the image, or mix it if I wanted to recreate the blender's behavior. The other way, and in my opinion it's a simpler way, would be simply to take the combined pass and treat it as the reflection pass. If I take the combined pass and my material's reflectivity is set to 1, it's in fact not the combined pass but the reflections pass. So if I have the way to separate my objects that are reflective, I could separate them from the combined pass and add them to my image, to my composite. In most of the cases, I prefer adding reflections to my image. When creating this image, I did exactly so. The reflections that are present here on the car paint, it is in fact the combined pass of the car paint. And it's added to all of the other passes that I used here. Okay, so this is how the reflection pass should look like, and this is how it looks like. What does it represent? It in fact represents nothing. It's just some artificially created image that, when added to the image without reflections, recreates the behavior as if the proper reflection pass would be mixed into it. So I would say that the reflection pass alone is completely useless for compositing. If I take this reflection pass and add it to my image, I am recreating the behavior of Blender's reflections, so I am mixing the clean reflections into my image. The only control that I have here is being able to set the factor to something lower than 1. Let's set it to 0.6. But what if I wanted to change the color of the material here in compositing? Let's try to pass our image without reflections through the hue saturation value node and change the hue of it. This is how it looks like without reflections. And this is what happens if we add reflections to it, but those reflections. I wouldn't say that it looks even close to decent, but let's now try to, instead of adding those crazy reflections, mix the proper image of reflections to this one. So let's plug this to the upper socket and the image of reflections to the lower socket and take a look at the result and compare with this one. Here we see some strange behavior and this looks much nicer although we are recreating the behavior of the reflections that Blender gives us, which means we are mixing the image of reflections into the image without reflections, but here we are using the clean reflections. So now we can control the colors before the reflections are mixed into it. And we can as well easily change this behavior by changing the blending mode here to add. Okay, there is also yet another thing that I mentioned before, the Fresnel. If I set the Fresnel here, I see less reflections on the surfaces that are facing the camera and more on the surfaces that are away from the camera. If I set the Fresnel amount here in the material, I am burning those information into the image of reflections. So it's better not to set any other value than zero here and try to recreate this behavior here in, in compositing which is rather simple, because when I activate the normal pass, which I did in this case, I can pass it through the vector normal node, take the dot of it, which looks like this, but I would have to invert this, because I want those areas to be less reflective and those ones to be more reflective, so let's pass it through the color invert, and I can use this one as the factor of adding my reflections. And that's my result. Okay, so that's the behavior of reflections in Blender. That's what we get as the reflection pass. But fortunately, we have the ways to deal with those issues.